Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, I'm getting ready to uh, prep some, some meat to do some chicken fried steak. And uh, I'm going to prep it tonight so that it's ready tomorrow when we actually do the video. Anyway, you might remember we did some raw steaks um, back about six months ago. And at that same time, I had uh, the butcher do some top round and then go ahead and tenderize it. Uh, for the chicken fried steak. So I've got three packages of this today uh, that I'm going to be getting ready and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to rehydrate it. We all talked about what we wanted to try for uh, reconstituting the meat and we decided on beer and we're using Janet's Coors Light. So let's do it. So I had high hopes that the meat would only take one beer and that this one would be for me, but I'm going to sacrifice it for the sake of science. Beer number two. Hello, <laughs> tis I, Epicenter Jenny. On this episode of Cooking with Jenny, we are going to do some chicken fried steak. You're probably wondering why the heck are we doing chicken fried steak at the Epicenter? Haha, <laughs> Brian in the freeze dryer. We had this, uh, what is it, bottom round, top round? That is bottom round. Bottom round, tenderized meat. We, uh, Brian freeze dried it raw. And so we are going to just kind of have some fun with it. We have been rehydrating for about 12 hours. Um, we've kind of learned our lesson with the meat, but we did a little something else with this. We rehydrated it in some beer. <laughs> All right. um, I'm a firm believer. I love, at home, I use beer to do all my marinades. It really helps to break down the tissue, um, make it really tender. So why the hell not? So we're going to try and make some chicken fried steak with rehydrated meat. And over here, what are you using? We have some Augustine Farms honey wheat bread roll mix. We're going to do kind of a double dip on it. Some eggs, some crushed up saltines, and we'll get our stuff going here. All right, and we have a special treat for us Not over for here. Me. What is that, Jenny? Yeah, nastiness. Uh <laughs> So you're doing the egg? A little egg. And do a double dipper here. Alright. This is fun. And then you're gonna go back into the egg? We'll go back into the egg. We probably need some bigger plates, don't we? I don't think we have bigger plates. <laughs> are you saying we're not well equipped here at the epicenter? We are, just not for uh, fancy dancy cooking. We do our best. Hey, this one's much more manageable. Oh, the small one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think we ought to cut those big ones up? Um, maybe. All right, get the first ones in there. Yummy. Sean, you're chomping at the bit over here. Yes, I'm hungry, and I haven't had um, chicken fried steak in ages, so I'm looking forward to it. We have some gravy over there, too. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Gravy, John? Oh, yeah. Let's get some gravy. I'm going to put it on the side. I thought you were the guy that says slather it on everything. Yeah. I am, but I wanted to get a good objective taste of the meat without the gravy on it. Okay. Good idea. I'm going for the gravy, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
steak knife. I will not be going for any gravy. <laughs> The first bite is going to be John. I can taste the beer. You can? Mm-hmm. Yep. What yeah, kind I, of... I smell it. Do you? Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I smell it. I've beer. never tasted it like this before. It's good. There's no alcohol. It cooks out. Oh, yeah. Willie. Mm -hmm. What? The gravy drowns out the beer taste, but then there's that little apt. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Wow. When the world ends, we're going to be eating like kings, aren't we? <laughs> That's if we have any beer left. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking, Jenny? How'd, the, how'd this crust turn out? Good. I probably would have spiced it up a little more for my, for me personally, but the meat's rehydrated. That's the big thing. I think we did it right. I don't mind the beer taste. That's because I like beer. So I got to go check on these. Yeah. I, I like the beer taste very much. And they say that beer is going to be currency after the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> beer and whiskey and what else? Vodka, Vodka and gin. Vodka and gin. Cigarettes, Cigarettes and yeah, and the Pot stuff around the, here, the stuff that Ore <laughs> Oregonians desire these days. Um, <laughs> it, this could use a tad bit of salt, um, but I don't think I'm going to put salt on it because it. I I really like the flavor as it is. Okay, salt on it. Mm -hmm. Yum. All right, well, I'm gonna dive in. I just had a bite of this, and this does have a beer note to it. I like it. That's kind of fun. Mmm. The crust is great, too. The meat really came out well. I mean, this is tender. You know, they did tenderize it, but... Wow, this is really good. Yeah, you don't want a pale ale, though. Mmm. Oh, you mean too crafty? <laughs> mm. right. Janet asked about the gravy, and that's this. It's a bag of uh, country gravy mix from Trio, and just a, a little bit of addition of some pepper. Like it? And maybe just a tad bit of salt, but it, you know, it, this is this is excellent. Are wow. You your plate, John? Yeah. That's how much I like the gravy. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I said, I marinate all my stuff in beer. If I'm at home cooking, everything gets a beer marinade. Because I think it's the hops or whatever helps break down that muscle tissue and makes everything more tender. So I'd be interested to do some uh, steaks and we on the grill and we hydrate them overnight in the beer to see... Yeah, because that was our concern, was getting it rehydrated. Sure worked. And you think this was a complete winner, huh? Yeah, definitely. And the I, I, ha, I was skeptical that the meat would actually be a, a realistic chicken fried steak. I thought it was going to end up being too dry and chewy. Um, but it, it's restaurant chicken fried steak. <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken fried steak dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Round two. What do you think, Jenny? Was this a good batch? It was a good batch. Now we know the trick to rehydrating the meat. Yep. And the trick is? Overnight. Overnight, yeah. Overnight. Yeah. Like I said, I'm interested to take some, just some regular steaks. Freeze dry them and marinate it. Let them sit in the beer and see if they were tender because these were pre tenderized. Yeah. But damn, they were, they were tender. Yeah, these were really good. Really off the charts. This, this was really, really fun. I am absolutely thrilled with that. So if you've got a freeze dryer and you're going to do some meat, do some of this um, tenderized uh, bottom round and you're going to be very happy. 
So for Cooking with Jenny and the Epicenter, I'm signing out.